Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, excited about the word of God on tonight. Miss Letha Hover, she's getting ready to teach. So we're going to give everybody five to 10 minutes to get on. If you come back and watch this live or on YouTube, you can go ahead and fast forward to the five minute mark. Hello, Pastor. Hey, I'm on the phone with my uncle real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Hey, Lisa. Hello. This is Venus. Hey, Venus. Because you, you know, I don't really know how to work this, so. Okay, no problem. I'm going to go back on mute anyway, so no problem. Okay. Yeah. I think I can look over here and see. Thank you for getting on. Absolutely. I'm praying for you. I know God will use you. Can you hear me pretty good? I can. I can see you. I can see you too. I, it's a it's some background noise too, a little bit. Is there anything in the background? There is. Can you hear what it sounds yeah. like? Yeah. Okay, you play music. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you hear it? Okay. It's kind of staticky. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Hey, okay. Madison. Hey, Lisa. How's it going? Good. Hold on, let me mute my mama because we on a Zoom call. I mean, it was on call. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Where you at? Oh, you in your hotel. There we go. I know this is going to be different. Thank you. And with you, I have to speak up. Huh? I said, you're going to have to speak oh, up. Am, oh, yeah, you're right. I am going to speak up. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> but we tuned in. Your sister's about to tune in, too. She's just so much. Oh, thank y'all for the support. Y'all can hear me pretty good. Yeah. Hey, Donna. This is going to be exciting. I, I've, I've actually been looking forward to, um, no, I haven't. I wasn't going to do it. Just just say that. I decided that I wasn't going to do it. I was going to call pastor and I was going to be like, pastor, I'm just not going to do this. Um, because I felt like um, this was not something that God had called me to do. But as I went through the month, um, I decided I was going to go ahead and do it up until the last minute. So I, I thank y'all. I thank you guys for getting on here. And hopefully that I can say something that's going to uh, impact somebody's life. Whether, it impact, uh, whether it's me or you or somebody on here, somebody or here's something that God has to say through me. We're going to give them just a little bit more time for a couple more people to get on. Can you guys hear me okay? That's fine. Okay. Can you hear my music okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Thank you, Pastor. I got all my notes in my book. I don't know how this is going to go, guys, because I have plenty of things that I have wrote down that God has given me. But every time I decide to uh, 
go over my notes, he give me something else and things change again. So it is exactly at seven o'clock right now. We do start our AOP Zoom Bible study at seven. So I'm gonna give it probably about two more minutes and then I'm gonna get on. Hi, Mr. Marlin. Hey, good afternoon, how you doing? I'm great, thank you for asking. So listen guys, I decided that um, one of the ways we're gonna close out this month, see our pastor had a vision from God. He decided that he wanted to um, let some of his members do Bible study so he can take the month off. I thank you, Pastor. And I really do thank you for pushing us. Uh, Mr. Marlin, you did an excellent job last week. And you know, we depend on Minister Calandra and Justice for a whole lot. We depend on them to do a lot. And I appreciate you for pushing us because like I said before, guys, I was going to back out. I have been saying over and over again, I am not gonna do this. So I figured the only way that we can close this month out is to give God some praise. I promise y'all, I am gonna get into the word, but I really wanna thank God and I wanna praise him for so much that has been going on in our lives. You know, with COVID and everything going on, we need to praise God. So first I'm gonna start by saying thank you again, Pastor, for being so wonderful to us. Thank you for letting God lead you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity and we're gonna jump right into it. And I think that, um, I'm not sure how this is gonna go because if you know me, then you know how I am. So um, I just wanna thank God. I just wanna thank God. I wanna thank God for so many things. And I want each and every last one of you, Pastor, as a matter of fact, what I want you to do, if you are in a place, the people that's on the Zoom, only if you're in a place, I need for everybody to unmute your phones if you're in a place where you want to praise. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me say this, because I don't want to get caught up in who's not praising God. So if you're going to praise God, then I need for you to unmute your phone. But if you're not, then you don't have to. You can just click in if you want to. You can say amen when you want to. But if you are, then I'm going to need you to give God some praise because God has been so good. I cannot thank him enough. Hallelujah. I cannot thank him for so many things that he's done in our lives. When I tell amen. you, we serve an awesome God. Yes, Lord. God is amazing. God is amazing. I want you guys to, wherever you're at, to give him praise and to give him worship for the things that he's done in your life because God did not have to do it. Amen. He didn't Amen. have to do it. It's a lot of us that woke up on the wrong side in a bad place. It's so many of us right now that are wishing they was on top of the ground. And that right there is enough to give God praise in itself. God is amazing. At this time in my life, I think back of all the things that God has done for me. And the only thing that I can do is I can say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the grace that you have given us, God. Thank you for putting your hands on us, Lord. Thank you for the people that you have brought in front of us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives, God. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank, thank you, you God. that we were able to put our feet on the ground, that we have yes, eyes. God. We can see God. Thank you for the fat Father God that we have hands that we can move our yes. hands. Lord. There are some people out here, Lord, that don't have hands. There are some people that cannot see, Father God. And I thank you. I thank you for the blessings that you've given me, Father God. Sometimes, people, you just got to reach out and you got to grab it for yourself. So I need each and every last one of you to open your mouth and you thank God. I can't make you do it. I can't make you do it, and I'm not going to force you to do it, but I need for you to understand that there are some people that did not make it. 
There are some people that are dead right now. There are some people that are in their beds right now that are sick. They wish they can get up and thank God. They wish they had an internet where they can get on a Zoom call and see each and every last one of you guys and praise oh, God. Oh, shit. God. I talk about shit. Yes, so thank open you. your mouth and you thank yes, God. Lord, thank you, Lord. Lord. All you got to do is ask him. And sometimes we don't want to open our mouth. We don't want to open our mouth. And the reason why we don't want to open our mouth is because we're scared. We're scared that other people are going to see something and they're going to say, well, that person right there, she's not real. But you know what? It's time. It's time to stop being so fake. I am so, so tired of fake people. You have got to give God the praise and the glory that he is due. We could have been dead. This season right here in our life, this has been a trying season for everybody that is on this call. I promise you, I know each and every last one of you just about. And I know that some of you have been going through some things and God has brought us through. Just think about yourself, God. I need for everybody Amen. to Amen. think about this. Even if you're living and are working at home, you don't have to pay for gas anymore. That right there. Thank, Thank you, God. That's something that we had to do all the time. We had to put that in our budget. But right now, we don't have to put it in our budget because most of us are working from home. We could have lost mm. so many people. But we didn't. God's grace and his mercy has kept us. Open your mouth and thank God. Yes, for bringing us this far. Thank you, Jesus. It is up to you. I see a lot of my family and friends on Thank this call. Thank, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It is up to you to make sure that your family wins. And if you don't get nothing else out of this message tonight, I need for each person out here to say this. I came to win. 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 Came to win. When you winning, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you some heartaches. It's going to cost you some pain. It's going to cost you some trials and some tribulations. And if you ain't never won a game, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I used to sit up in the stands and I used to watch my daughter play ball and my sons play football. And if the game is ever close, if you've ever played a game, the fans are sitting up there and they're trying to figure out what's going on. They're trying to say, okay, okay, it's 60 to 62. What you going to do? And we want to get out there and we want to help. That's what God do to us. He has set us up to win. And the only way you can win is if you get in this word. Yes, you get yes. in this word. And God has set us up for victory. He set us up for victory anytime that you, that you, put your, that you sit down and you start reading the word of God. You set yourself up to win. Amen. I can go on and on and on and on. I know, I know this you is already preached, Sister Lisa. Like, <laughs> this, this probably ain't what you guys thought was gonna happen. You probably thought that I was gonna come with a whole lot of spreadsheets and stuff because I don't have no spreadsheets. I don't know how to do all that, but what I do know is that God is real. Amen. Amen. When I God. tell you he is real, he is real. You got to change the way you think. We as people, we think, we think because we have been living for so long that we know everything. You got to wipe everything that you know out your brain. And you got to start over. You got to get in your word. And you got to ask God to change you. You got to ask God to put some different stuff in you because I'm 46. I just turned 46 Monday. I had some stuff that was put down into me that was so deep in my mind. And I thought those things was right. But when I got in the word, I realized and I realized who I was. I started surrendering to the word of God. I ain't perfect, people. I ain't perfect. And I'm not going to sit here and try to say that I'm perfect. But I do know one thing is I try. I try my best to live my life and to, to live my life for, to, for the Lord. I try my best and when, when people see me, they see me smiling. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> if you want to win, 
You got to trust him. You got to trust him. You got to trust him if you want to win. The only way you're going to win is if you get in this word. Your family depends on you. If it ain't for me, what my kids going to do? How my kids going to survive? How am I going to survive? It's time out for us to play in church. I'm telling y'all, it's time now for playing church. We ain't got to be perfect. I love it when Calandra said all the time. It's not that serious. It is not that serious. But you better give God the glory. I'm telling you because I know. I'm going to tell y'all my story right quick. I was talking to Sister London. And I said, Sister London, I don't know what I'm talking about. She said, you tell them your story. It's us. I didn't think I was going to make it. My mama was the best mama she could be. She did the best she could. My daddy was not the best he could be. I, I don't know why that generation of people, I'm, I'm going to say, we're going to say the generation of people that's about 60 and 65, they weren't taught how to love us. I don't know why. We didn't get the stuff that we got. But right now, if you want to change your life, you start reading. You start reading books. You start writing stuff down. What I did as a kid, because I ain't had nobody to teach me. My mama did the best she could. She got caught up in the system, but that don't mean nothing. Because nobody wants to be in that system. But she did the best she could. I got in the book. I started reading. I started asking God, how is it that I'm going to raise my children? Did I do it right? I didn't do it right. Everything wasn't right. But I got in and I started asking. And see, the problem with us, some of us mothers, because I know we got some mothers on here, and I know we got some people on here that, are, that don't have kids. You got to go back and you got to dig back and you got to figure out what it is that you did in your life that caused this situation to happen to your children. It's okay to go back and apologize to your kids. It's okay to go back and read and say, hey, I messed up, but let's try to fix it. That's the problem with us. We don't want to admit that we were wrong. And sometimes you got to go back and you got to admit that you was wrong and you got to ask God to change me. You got to ask God to fill you up with something different. Fill you up with the word. Fill you up with something that's going to uh, make sure that you're able to survive out here because it's hard out here in this world. People are cutthroat out here in this world. So I'm going to need for each person on here to write down. I, this is what I want you guys to write down. I came to win. Write it down. And when you wake up in the morning, you realize that you came to win. And you want to win. Because winning takes some effort. It takes a whole lot of effort. Now, I am going to get into the word because there's some couple things that I want to talk about. I need it. And where y'all doing that? Turn to uh, John 9 and 1. I'm already here. Y'all, you know, I do have my little highlighter, uh, Pastor. I know sometimes I get emotional when I'm praising God because I know what he's done done for me. 9 and 1. I'm sorry, guys. I know exactly what he done done for me. See, I was driving down the road, and this is one spot. This is one spot on Brainerd Road that God always speaks to me. See, sometimes you got to recognize God. God. You got to look for him. Because he's there, and you got to look for him. And he said, um, I was riding down the road. I got my new glasses. Can y'all see them? I'm going to have to put them on to read. So I got my glasses. And these are reading glasses, but they fit my contacts so I can see far off. Because there was some times when I couldn't see across the street. I couldn't see different things. And so when God, when, God, when I was driving down the street, I'm riding down Brain Road, and I'm just looking, and I'm like, dang, what is that over there? I didn't even know that was over there. Look at this, look at that. And God said, hey, you can see, but you're still blind. And I said, Lord Jesus, why? Why would you say that to me right then? Because, see, God was trying to get my attention. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to get my attention. He was trying to let me know, Lisa, you still blind? Because you ain't doing what I told you to do. There's some things you need to do. You need to get out there and you need to fix the stuff. You know you living in some sin. You know some things that need to be right. And see, that's what's wrong with y'all church folk. Yeah, I said it. I'm up here and I'm still trying to preach and I'm still trying to teach and I ain't doing some things right. You need to know that God knows that we're not perfect. And he, and right there in that day, he let me know that you are still blind because I have given you the word. I have set you up to win and you're not doing it. So that's why things are being hard for you. 
So if you turn to um, you turn to John nine, it says, let me read this. It says, now that Jesus passed by, now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. As his disciples asked him, say, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents? He was born blind. Jesus, neither the man, the man nor his, uh, neither, let, let me get a little closer. Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned, but the work, but the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work in the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the word, I am the light of the world. <sighs> Listen. It's gonna come a time when you can't pray no more because you're gonna be dead. We all gotta go there. There will come a time when God will come back and you're not going to be able to do those things that you wish you could have done. We don't know the time and the hour. But while we're here on this earth, you better start praising God. If you don't know how, the only thing you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. One thing I have told my children, if anything happens to you and I can't get there, call on the name of Jesus. Call his name. Let him know you there. Let him know that he that you know he can save you because I can't get to you at all times. And we all know what happens. With you look at Floyd, uh, George Floyd. What did he say? He called on his mama. His mama was dead. But the first thing people do when they're in trouble, they call on the person that they love. And most of the time it's going to be your mama or your daddy. So I've always taught my children, call on the name of Jesus. That word is so powerful. Sometimes I can lay here and I can sit in my bed and I'd be like, Jesus, Jesus, I need you to change some things. Jesus, I need you to open my eyes. I need you to open my eyes so that I can see. Open my eyes and give me wisdom. Open my eyes and give me the authority to do your will. Because we get confused sometimes and we think it's us, but it's God. Well, the first thing you should do when your feet hit the ground in the morning is thank the Holy Spirit. What's wrong with you? We've gotten to the point, the first thing we do is we grab our phone. So the last three months, what I've been doing when I get up in the morning is I say, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make it through the night. Stop grabbing your phone. I'm guilty of it because I done did it before. God didn't have to wake you up. I know some people just done died in their bed. You got to do it, people. The reason why I wanted to go with praise is because I know that a lot of us we say in our minds that we're praising God. Open your mouth and call that situation out. If it's depression, you got to call it out. You got to call that thing out. If it's a name, you got to give it a name and you call it out. If it's fornication, you got to call it out. If it's whatever it is, whatever it is. I don't know your demons and I don't know your spirits, but I know some of y'all dealing with some stuff because I'm dealing with some stuff and there ain't no perfect person on this earth. So we got to start being real with ourselves. If you want to get to a place where God is going to help you, because he ain't going to do it if you don't let him. All you got, he set us up to win. What did I say? We came to win. He gave his son, his only begotten son, that we that if, if we believed in him, that we would have everlasting life. The life is here on, the, on earth. We're here. You got to be happy. You ain't got to be sad. I sometimes I got so many people that I talk to. And a lot of people are sad. They're hurting. You ain't got to be sad. We're the only creature on earth that God made that you can change 
a situation with just a thought in your brain. All you got to do is do it. It takes a lot of effort to be sad and to be slouched down and to be moping around and don't nobody like me. Don't nobody love me. Whoa, it's me. It takes a whole lot of that to do that. But just try this sometimes. When you get sad, I need for y'all to try to sit up. Put your shoulders up and smile. Watch how your situation change. It's the brain. You got to condition your brain to change. Recondition your brain from what you have been taught as a kid, because we all have been taught a whole lot of stuff that wasn't right because we got mamas and daddies that wouldn't talk the right way, and they got mamas and daddies that wouldn't talk the right way. And so we think we're supposed to be sad all the time. Sometimes, you know, when you go, I'm guilty of saying this too. Why is she so happy? Because I know, hey, I, I work in the salon, we happy all the time. Sometimes. Now, me and Gwen, we've been there laughing, having a good time, and people come in, but I hear the stories. So I know some of y'all work. And the first thing we say is, those white people are always happy. Well, why you can't be happy? Why you can't be the thermometer? Why you can't change the temperature of the room? Try it sometimes. Smile. Get yourself in there and be happy. We don't have to be sad all the time. Just because we black and they say we mean and we got a bad attitude, that don't mean we have to be that way. You can always just say, you can always be that person to come in and be happy. Why she have, it's this girl to come into the shop all the time. I ain't gonna say her name because she may not, well, y'all don't know anyway, because there's so many in the world. Her name Kim. When I tell you, she got the, the most beautiful energy in the world. That's the type of energy you should have when you walk into a place. People should know that God is on your life because this girl right here is happy. They predict they uh, they pre uh, predict us as being mean all the time. We not mean, we happy too. Smile, it looks better on you. It looks a whole lot better than just sitting there frowning all the time. All right, let me get back to the sis because you know, I get I get kind of uh, carried away and I be thinking about a whole lot of stuff that's going on in my mind. But right here in this text, God healed this man. He was blind. God healed him. He was born blind. God reached down in the dirt, picked up some clay, wiped it on his eyes, told him to go over there and wash himself up in the river, and he did. He came back and he could see. Guess what the people did? Because we all got saved one day, didn't we? The people started throwing stones at him. They started calling him names. They started telling him, no, you ain't, he ain't been saved. They, I know at least I read this chapter and they asked him at least four times, are you sure that God healed you? That Jesus healed you? He said, yes. Is that the same person? And that's how people do us. They try to throw your past back up and say, this is you, that's you. You remember when she did that? You remember when he did that? That's him. How she going to sit up there and preach the word? Because see, when the word get down in you, it's in you. It's still going to come out. It doesn't matter what people say about you. It doesn't matter how the people feel about you or what they say. Uh, well, I remember when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not married. I had my children out of way a lot. But hey, God forgave me. I don't have to answer to nobody and you don't either. Let me tell you something, when you get to heaven, if you make it, when you get up there, God gonna say, Letha, why did you do this? Why did you do that? He ain't gonna ask me about Madison. He's not gonna ask me about my sister. He's not gonna ask me about my kids. He's gonna ask me about me. So start worrying about yourself. Quit focusing on other people. You only get one chance. One chance to die, but you live every day. Live your life to the fullest. Run, start going around here being happy. Start going around here treating people the way God would treat them. All of y'all, a lot of people say, well, I love the Lord, but you frowning it at somebody else. You talking about somebody else. You talking about their clothes because you feel like you got something better than what they got. The reason why, I can talk about this and say stuff like this is because I'm one of those people. I do have my faults, but I am one of those people that I don't talk about people and their problems and their clothes because I give people sympathy and empathy because I have been through almost everything you can imagine. I don't look like what I've been through. And so when I hear somebody telling me a story 
Or if I see somebody walking down the street and they talking to themselves, I don't go, oh my God, look at the crazy man. No, that's the spirit. I say, Lord, help them. Because you got to see things in the spiritual realm. You got to see it. So again, back over here to the text. They even asked this man's parents, was he blind at birth? Because they didn't believe him. They didn't believe that Jesus healed him and that he was saved and that he changed into a different person. That's how people do you. They do it. And the reason why they do it is because they don't believe they self. They Christian people. Stop being so religious people. Start loving people. Start loving people. Start being the, per the, per the person that God wants you to be. I'm going to go over to my notes because uh, I don't went somewhere else. And I'm assuming that that's where God wanted me to go. Maybe it wasn't for me. It may have been for somebody else, but that's where we went. That's where we went, rather. Listen to me. God has set us up to win. Some people don't want to see you win. But how many of you know this? That when God sets you up to win, to win, ain't no devil in hell can stop what's happening to you. We've been talking about walking in your purpose and different things. See, when God places you in a situation or he decides he wants to bless you, can't nobody stop it. I don't care how many lies they tell on you. I don't care who got to the table before you. If God set a table for you, that table is for you. It is not for anybody else. And see, this is what God will do. <laughs> this is what God will do. He will bless you in front of your enemies. He'll do it. He'll bless you in front of your enemies. He won't even show you who your enemies are. And the reason why he won't show you who your enemies are is because he wants you to be there. He needs you to show up. He needs you to give him praise. He needs you to know that he was there for you. I need somebody to uh, do me one favor and look up the word hindsight. Can somebody look that up for me and, um, and give me the definition of hindsight? Because this is what God does for us. Hindsight, recognition of the realities, possibilities, or requirements of a situation, event, decision after its occurrence. After its occurrence. <clears throat> Have you ever looked back over your life and been like, dang, I, that's why God removed that person. That person has been rocking with you from day one. Your ace. I, hey, I had a cousin. You couldn't tell me she was my sister. I gave her everything that she needed in the world. People used to tell me all the time, that girl don't like you. It's impossible. You can't tell me that girl don't like me because I love her. They said, well, have you seen the way she look at you? I'm going to see the way she look at you because she looking at me from behind. I, am, I don't have eyes in the back of my head. But this girl betrayed me so many times and I still took her back. And see, God blessed me right in front of her. And he removed her out of my life. And now I can look back and I can say, okay, God, I see where you were going. I see why you removed her. See, God will let your enemies see it first and then he'll remove them. All you gotta do is stay fo focused. That's the only thing you got to do. You got you to gotta stay focused. Put your, put your faith in God and watch him do the rest. You ain't got to beg nobody for nothing. You don't have to beg nobody for a damn. All you have to do is ask God and he will give it to you. 
I ain't come to preach. I just came on here because I wanted you guys to uh, to hear what God was putting on my heart this week. I have changed this uh, message so many times. I called my girlfriend and I was like, listen, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And one of my girlfriends called me right before I uh, started and she said, Letha, you've been here before. <laughs> See, the good thing about God is he's a God of second chances. He will give you a second chance every single time you wake up. All you got to do is ask him. I've been here before. Where he trying to take me next? I don't know. But I've been here before. I've been in front of him before and I've been over there before. See, this is what gets me excited. You can look back over your life and you can think, well, this is the end. I'm not gonna make it. I just lost, I lost my brother. I lost my father. I don't lost two best friends. And each time I say, Lord, how am I gonna get through this? He took me through it one time. He'll take you through it again. And you're going to live. All you have to do is put one foot forward and say, thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to start over again. Because God will let you start over every time. All you got to do is ask him. Man won't do that for you. I, my, my girlfriend Gwen always say, we friends. We got to get a divorce before we break up. How is it? We talk about this a lot. How is it that you will forgive that no good man or woman, but if one of your friends do something to you, you cut them off. I'm done with them. I ain't going to talk to them no more. Why you can't go out and steal the Alice branch and say, listen, we need to fix this. Because as people, we have got to do better. You don't get another chance after you're gone. When people remember you, they should remember you as what you did, how good you was to them. Was you a good person? So you don't, <laughs> people, bottom line, so being nice to people, it don't take much. We walk around here and you see somebody coming and you, you, and you call yourself a Christian and you go the other way or you be like, oh my God, I hope she don't come over here. When the only thing you have to do is be nice, you don't know what's going on. If I was telling a friend of mine, I always say this, and I mean it to the bottom of my heart. If you see a lady, and this is for the men that are on here. If you guys see a lady and she got some clothes on and she fixed her hair and she combed her hair, it's okay to say you look nice. That doesn't mean you're flirting. Because we as human beings, we want to be, we want to be recognized. We want people to understand that we tried, that we're going through everyday life. And I don't think we want you to do is say, oh my God, you look good. That does a lot. Or smile at somebody. Okay. Anyway, I, I don't got back over here. So again, if God wants you to, you to have something, he's going to make sure you get it. Do you guys remember, um, Let's go back to, um, you guys remember David. Everybody on here know the story of David. David was out in the field. He was tending to the sheep, doing what God told him to do. Minding his own business while his brothers was in the house, cutting their hair, putting on some smell good, trying to look good for the king because they wanted to be king. But see, God saw past all that. So you can hide if you, you think you can hide, but you can't, you can put on your fancy clothes every single day, but God is gonna use those little people, those people that are on drugs, those people that you think are nobody, he'll go back and use them before he use you. So again, David didn't ask to be king, but what is for you is for you. It doesn't matter who get there before you. 
it's for you. That's the only thing you got to remember. You got to go through life and you got to know that God has set you up to win. He has finished this movie for you. All you have to do is keep going. So wipe out all the depression. If you can ever get that in your, if you don't, if you guys don't take nothing away from here and you take this away from here, if you want to win, you wipe out all the depression and all the other stuff and you realize that God has set you up to win the next day. Just keep moving forward. Keep walking. Keep moving. Suicide is not an option. I know times are hard. I know we got a lot of people out here just wanting to give up. Put another foot forward. Walk. Just keep walking. You remember that? You'll realize that God don't already worked it out. If you don't remember nothing else, remember God has already wrote a book about your life. You are the superstar in your own life. He's wrote this down. He's written it down. All you got to do is get to the end. So if it happened, it happened. Start over. Get that in your brain. So who leaves you? Who gives up on you? Who don't want to talk to you? Who didn't give you no money? What job you didn't get? It doesn't matter. You'll get a job the next day. God. I have been praying for years. And if you know me, you know me. If you know my family, you know me. You know, I've been praying for years. I gave up. I gave up. Two years ago, I decided I wasn't going to ask God. I wasn't going to ask him no more. He just do what you do. I don't care what you do, Lord, you do it. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about I gave up. I gave up on the fact that because my mama was on drugs. I stopped. I stopped praying. I stopped asking God. But I've been praying for years. This year. This year. Well, we're going to say last year. COVID hit. She had to come live with me again. She kicked that habit. She kicked it. I'm telling y'all. Amen. Amen. God is real. Yes, you Jesus. gotta stay consistent. You gotta call that thing out. You gotta know that He would do it just because you don't see it done right now. That don't mean it ain't gonna get done. I don't know who needs to hear this. I ain't trying to put up business out there, but I'm telling y'all, I washed up for thirty something days. Two years exit twenty two, baby. <laughs> Two years, exit 22. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when you got favor, when you have favor on your life and all of you got it, all you got to do is ask God for it. He'll move. He will move. He'll move in your life. All right. <clears throat> I decided for the y'all that didn't get on, you guys that didn't get on here late, that we were gonna praise God. We was gonna close this moment out and we were gonna praise God for the things that he has done in our lives. Pastor gave us an opportunity to teach and preach the word. Well, actually he made us do it, but it's okay because <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. But my girlfriend reminded me again today, Delita, you've been here before. You have tried this before. I don't know what God going to do this time, people, but I'm here. And I need for you guys to realize that you got to open your heart and let God in. Let him work through your life. I got a couple affirmations I want to go over. And then I'm going to let Pastor close us out. Because I think I don't uh, mess myself up. Anyway. So <clears throat> this here are a couple of affirmations. You guys can write them down if you want. And 
I would like for you guys to uh, repeat them if you can. So if you don't mind, if you're in a place where you can, and I know it's hard for some of you guys to open your mouth. I know this for a fact because I've been beside you, but I need for you to open your mouth do me a favor. I cannot do this for you. You have to declare these things in your life. I can't do it for you. So I'm going to need for everybody on here, and I can see the little mics on here to say they're muted. Praise God. Praise God. To unmute them. Praise God. Everybody unmute your mic. Praise if you're God. In place where you can. Because we're going to say Praise these God. things together. Yes, God. And we're going to believe when we wake up in the morning that some things have been shifted in our lives. Because, see, God is doing a new thing. He's changing some stuff right now. And all you got to do is reach up and grab it. That's the only thing you have to do. So, as a campaigner of empowerment, my name is assigned with, I need everybody to say, my name is assigned with holiness. My name is assigned with love. My name is assigned with love. My name is assigned with greatness. My name is assigned with faith. My name is assigned with greatness. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Back it up. Slow it down. Start from the beginning. Okay. I am a campaign. I am a campaigner of empowerment. My name is associated with. My name is associated with. My name is associated with. My name is associated with holiness. My name is associated with love. My name, my, name is is associated with love. Love. my name is associated with peace. My name, my name, name is associated with peace. peace. I might as well get ready because I got one. My name is associated with faithfulness. My name, my name, name is associated with faithfulness. My name is associated with wisdom. My name is associated with wisdom. My name is associated with luxury. My, my name, name is associated with luxury. luxury. My name is associated with health. My, my name, name is associated, is associated with, with health. health. This is going to be a little hard for y'all, but you're going to say it and you're going to do it. My name is associated with honesty. My, my name, name is associated with honesty. My name is associated with grace. My name, my name is associated with grace. My name is associated with vision. My name is associated with vision. My name is associated with wealth. My name is associated with wealth. My name is anointed. Yes, my name is anointed. My name is associated with the kingdom of wisdom. My, my name, name is associated name with the kingdom of wisdom. wisdom of wisdom. My name is associated with success. My, my name, name, name is associated with success. Kingdom Amen. of success. Man, I got a couple more and I'm going to read them out. Come on, come on. I release my name and I, I release my name and all that is assigned to me and according, and according with me in the atmosphere. In Jesus' name, I reinforce that I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. I am saved by grace. Yes. I am forgiven for all my sins. Yes. I am beloved of God. Yes. I am a part of royalty, a royal priesthood. Come on. I am a member of the chosen generation. Come on. Yes. I am accepted in the beloved. Come on. I, I am I am alive in Christ. Yes. I am a saint. I yes, am God. by grace. Yes, God. I am set free. I am first and not last. Remember Receive that. It. You are first Receive and you are not last. Come on. Take Come nobody on. take that away from you. Yes, you want to know this. 
I am strong yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes we're going to get weak. Yeah. But God is there to bring you back. He's not going to forget you. He ain't going nowhere. Some people will leave you, but he ain't going nowhere. I am more than a conqueror. More than. I am called. Yes. Yeah. I am called by God. Called. Yes. Today. Remember that. Can't called. nobody take that away from you. It nope. doesn't matter what you do. God said yeah. it's only the God and Son to die on the cross for your sin. You are called by God. Don't let birth. nobody trick you into thinking that, that you're not. right, baby. Yes. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask yeah. God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy yeah. Spirit. Yes, God. I promise you it's real. I am an overcomer. Yeah. I am complete in Christ. Yes. Remember, you are complete in Christ. I I'm not lacking in nothing. Nothing. Never lacking. Never lacking. Nothing, never lacking nothing. Lord, according to your word, I declare everything that you have for me. Everybody say it with me. Lord, according to your word. Lord, according to your word. Lord, according Lord, according to your, word. word. your word. Your word. Not your man's word. word. According to the Lord's word. word. You write no, nobody your else. Word. Say nobody else. Right. Nobody, nobody else's else. word. I don't care what nobody say. According to the word of God, hello, I declare everything you have for me is for me. me. It's for me. me. For me. Everything. All right, y'all. Okay. Amen. Amen. This is everything I had on my notes. I got I got ten pages of notes, and I ain't reading none of it. Girl, you know what? And it's okay. You spirit, talk. Girl, we knew that was going to happen, though, didn't we? Amen. I can't appreciate oh. it was going to happen. And I appreciate you guys. Pastor um, Ricky, are you there? Hey, I know your phone is on mute. Yes. Uh, Pastor, I appreciate you with the utmost for pushing me. I appreciate so many people on this live. God, listen. I, when when I um, sent out the text message, I got so full mm. by each person that I text. I started to put it in a group text, but let me tell you, the reason why I didn't put it in no group text is because I wanted it to be personal for each one of you. And each person mm -hmm. that I text, my, my spirit got so full. Sherry, your, uh, you got to unmute your phone. Each person okay, that I text, sorry. each person that I text, I was so full. Mm. I couldn't even get through the text uh, message without I know, I know but, uh, that each one of you guys on this live. Oh. Somebody talking. I'm sorry. I can't see what it is. Uh, I know that each person on this live, you guys mean something to me. You guys mm -hmm. have sit in my chair and have encouraged me or I've sat beside you in church and you have poured into me over the years. And for each person on here, I just want you to know that I could not even make it through the day. I couldn't because I knew that you guys were going to support me and I know for a fact that you love me. And I want to thank each one of you guys. Um, if this, if there's anybody that has any questions, I'm here to answer them <laughs> the best of my ability. If not, Calandra's on here and Pastor Ricky on here and they'll answer them for you. But uh, Pastor, if you don't mind, you can go ahead and close us out. And I just want to say thank you again. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this again. Thank you, Lisa, so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Blessing us. You're welcome. All right, Pastor. Job tonight, Lisa. I am in A W E. I am in all. Uh, you know, my intentions were to just lie down and rest and just listen tonight, but it, it made me change my posture. So I went from lying down to, you know, leaning up on one arm. And now you got me on the side of my bed and getting ready to pray. Praise God. So. <laughs> A uh, phenomenal job. I am um, so much was said tonight that really uh, ignited something in me as a pastor. So uh, thank you so much for taking the sacrifice uh, to.
prepare for Bible study. I know that, you know, you can toss and turn, you know, I want to say this, but, you know, I don't know if I should say this. And it y'all just is so, it makes me so proud. I just feel like I'm in a candy store right now to <laughs> see y'all just preparing, you know, the excitement and enthusiasm that you all bring. So uh, thank you for not counseling. Uh, Cause I was like, she probably go try to counsel because she, she just had a birthday you know, like, oh, we I picked the wrong week for her, you know, but thanks for uh, accepting the call. So I appreciate you for uh, seeing this through and following through uh, with Bible study tonight. So a- ain't y'all glad that she talked tonight? Was anybody blessed? You might unmute your phone and let letting her know that you enjoyed the night. Thank you, Lisa. Good job, Lisa. Good job, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Great job. Great job. Great job. I know I you did a great that. job, Lisa. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. And I know I was late, Lisa, but I really enjoyed what I got. Thank you, Nicole. I know I hollered at you guys a lot, but uh, I get emotional. <laughs> I get really emotional when it comes to praising God because I know that if you praise Him, mm. things will change. I have been in situations, we can even talk about the night. Last night I was so mad. It took me three hours to get back in my word because they didn't ship my product. And I, as soon as I got in the word, God started saying, I guess you better forgive him. I'm like, Jesus, I don't want to forgive him. But God will change some things in you when you start praying. He'll change the way you your posture. Like you said, uh, Pastor, he will change it. So sometimes I have to get up in the morning. I have to um, reposture myself because as we go through the day, we really, really deal with a lot of stuff. If you're a parent, if you're a friend, if you're a mother. And um, I get emotional because uh, I know, I know it real. But go, go ahead, Pastor. I'm going to turn it back over to you. I appreciate the emotionalism that you bring. Um, and I was listening to, uh, I'm reading a book now uh, called Don't Drop the Mic uh, by Bishop T.D. Jakes. And uh, he was just talking about being authentically you and, you know, don't worry about, you know, an outline or a script, just, just be you. So I want to encourage you woman of God, you know, uh, you know, just continue to be you. I mean, I, I appreciate it every second, every minute. Um, I, I see you're, you're, you're still a lot of authenticity and realness and you're very genuine and hard. And, you know, uh, the Lord over here dealing with me, uh, you know, uh-huh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't no, be still, and I know y'all don't know me. Letha, as your big sister, don't ever apologize for that because, see, we got to, he loves that. He loves, we got to set the atmosphere. We got to cry out. He loves our worship. Amen. Every time, it's not about us. We get so bogged down into us, we miss it. But when we get to that place where we start yelling, crying, worshiping, screaming, man, we set the tone for him to put his presence in there. Baby, you let God use you. That's all that happened today. Don't ever apologize for that. Thank you, Tom. All right? Don't ever all right, I got you, sis. Hey, Miss Letha. Yes. Hey, I want to say you did an outstanding job, and I just really want to thank you for being so real. You know, a, a lot of times, a lot of people get on here, and they're not real, but you were being yourself, and that's what makes it so genuine. So I, I really do appreciate you, and I know what it feels like to come behind Miss Calandria and, and a music pastor, and, and just like you, uh, I was thinking about dropping out too. <laughs> I was thinking about letting it go because I was like, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? But, you know, I, I, I just really want to thank you just for being so real and, and just being yourself. And I got some out of it. So thank you, woman of God. Thank you. Awesome. Anybody else would like to say anything? All right. Well, once again, Miss Letha, I, d- I definitely appreciate you, uh, man. You know, just to uh, give you a s- Ramona about to say something. Yes. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Letha, I'm so proud of you. 
Thank you. Sam. That's from the bottom of my heart. And I, I have to say to everybody, I thank you all for supporting her. Mm -hmm. And I love you, sweetie. I love you more. You know it. I can hear it. I know you do. Thank you. Me. Now you make me cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you all once again for sharing. Um, your expressions tonight, um, you know, and once again, Letha, I am, I'm, I'm a proud pastor tonight, you know, as you're speaking, you know, we, a lot of people can see it, this is very evident, you know, there's righteousness inside of you that you really have a heart for God, and I was thinking, you know, like, thank you know, you know, we're supposed to have, like, we're going to try to have a women's conference, you know, soon, it's like, we got everything in the house, you know, we, we got, you know, we, the men, and we got Minister Justice, Ms. Calendra, and Letha tonight, you know, just in, put the icing on the cake. So, uh, you know, I, I'm excited about having another meeting for our first women's conference coming up soon. So, um, but yeah, today, tonight was really awesome and I am on full right now. So y'all get ready, you know, get ready, get ready, get ready as TDJ says, <laughs> cause I'm excited what God is doing um, in the people of God and uh, hopefully, uh, we got one of my uh, our church mother, lead church mother, Miss Linda Bob on here. We're going to try to get her to teach the third Wednesday in May. She was, son, that ain't my style. We're we going to hear from the church mother. So, <laughs> and we're going to allow her to go for You got something to say, Miss Linda? You just unmuted your phone. No, I just want to tell Letha uh, how proud I am of her for um, answering the call and doing a fantastic phenomenal job job well done Letha I'm proud of you and I text you uh while you were preaching a uh, teaching I was texting you just let you know I mean I was in tears I just thank you for the word and thank you for laboring in the word we're, we're so proud of you thank you amen amen yeah we are definitely proud and um like I look, I just don't know. How, I, I I like I'm smiling from ear to ear tonight. Um, so Letha, once again, this is once again another birthing season. Once again, I know you've been teaching before, uh, you know, in the women's group, and you know, from your former experiences, um, what have you. But you know, I felt tonight was a definitely a, a thrust for you uh, to really step on over uh, to what God has anointed and called you to do. I, I see a lot in you. I uh, see greatness. I see a lot of more potential. You know, I, I, I assist the anointing of God on your life that people and a lot of women need to hear your voice. Uh, so we're definitely going to have you uh, present again and teach again. Uh, you was preaching, teaching. You was, you was doing it all tonight. So, uh, you know, like, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to God. And uh, just the way that you were able to command and set the atmosphere first starting off that really uh, spoke high volumes that there's a lot inside of you. It's a lot of word. It's a lot of anointing. There's a lot of righteousness inside of you. So I am uh, beyond proud uh, of you and where God is getting ready to take you into this next dimension of glory. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna give a round of applause for <laughs> right here once again. Uh, so I'm just so excited. Uh, as we get ready to close, does anybody have any prayer requests or praise reports that you would like to share? And uh, once again, Lito was talking about, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here to win. So that was just a, I came to win a lot of confirmation um, in my life. So you really prophesy I'm being prophetic tonight because, uh, you know, I'm working on a new business called How Enterprises, H-O-W, Helping Others Win. So you was all up, you know, on my lane tonight and everything. So, like, mm, you know, so you, you let the Lord definitely use you. Miss Tanya? Anybody? Hello? Yes, here we go. Anybody got any prayer requests or praise reports? I saw you on the Hello? <coughs> Anybody? Prayer requests, praise reports? I have a prayer request. Okay. Um, just praying for safe travels for my mom and nephew. As he goes out of town to see a specialist. Be home now. That was the same thing I was going to say. And pray for my grandson. Hopefully he gets some good news uh, with his uh, appointment that he's going to be uh, having this uh, Friday. 
Thank you. All righty. Anybody else? We're yet praying for Allison's um, newborn baby. Yeah. Amen. So we're excited about the babies. <laughs> Yes. Play for Addison and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I'm just excited for the direction you guys are going. Glory to God. Glory to God. I am. I am. And um, do you know Pastor Reginald Yates? Yeah, I've, I've, we're friends on Facebook. I haven't met him personally yet. Mm. Just pray. Just ask God to see what direction you guys may see. You know, just pray. You guys are, y'all are firing up Chattanooga, Tennessee. Y'all are young and y'all are pushing against an old mindset. But y'all on fire for the Lord. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all, y'all pushing against some old mindsets, but I love what you're doing. Glory to God. Thank you. Um, and I'm glad you said that because uh, this Sunday we're actually starting a new series uh, entitled Breaking Generational Curses. And um, part of it is going to be a two-part sermon series entitled, uh, it's going to be Altering the Mindset. So we're going to really be dealing and getting to the root of the issue of, you know, how we've been exposed to different things. I believe this Sunday is going to really uh, catapult us into uh, where God is taking us because some stuff's getting ready to break off our families, break off our minds, break off. Our, oh, my, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be quiet, but, you know, I want to preach the night after Lita, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and close. Anybody got any last things before we close out in prayer? <clears throat> Well, thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight, Bible study. I pray um, that you got something out of it. Uh, let's continue to lift up Letha as her preparation and her uh, diligence and preparing and uh, really meditating on the word. So once again, Letha, we're so proud of you and we thank you. So let's look to the Lord in prayer. Dear the Father, Lord, we tell you, thank you tonight. God, for your grace and your mercy, we thank you, God, for even your anointing, Lord, that we feel right now, Lord, we even lift up Miss Letha, God, to you right now, Lord, that you began to pour back into her, Lord, everything, Lord, that she's labored all the time, all the times, Lord, that she focused right on your word, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless her in a mighty special way, God, give her, God, life more abundantly, Lord, whatever her prayer requests are, God, whatever her desires are, Lord, we pray, Lord, that they come to fruition in the name of Jesus, God, we lift up her, we lift up her family, God, we lift up her children, God, to you, God, Lord, you know, Lord, what she's standing in need of, God, we thank you for each and every representative, God, that's on here tonight, God, we even pray, God, for Miss Tanya Martin, Lord, that you begin, God, to bless her going in and bless her going now, God, continue, God, to lift up her husband, God, God, bless him and his business, God, bless their life, God, bless their household, God, bless their family, God, we lift up, God, ace to you, God, continue, God, to cover her and Greg and, God, the newborn baby, Lord, that you begin, God, to allow, God, the baby, God, to have great health, Lord, God, we speak, God, Lord, that you're gonna continue, God, to open up doors for her and make ways for her in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for her destiny, Lord, that you're ordering her steps, God, Lord, you're guiding her, Lord, you're allowing her, God, to be uh, the mother, Lord, that you're grooming her to be. So, God, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you continue, God, to bless her and blow her mind. God, we lift up God, into Nina, I believe that's her name on tonight, Lord, that whatever she needs on tonight, Lord, that you begin, God, to cover her, keep her, God, in your care, God, continue, God, to bless her and order her steps. God, we lift up Miss April, God, to you, God, Lord, we lift up her son, God, to you, God, we lift up her children, Lord, that you're working things out for her, Lord, that you're turning things around for her in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, the prayer request, Lord, that she has, Lord, even, God, the burdens, Lord, that she may have, God, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you lift every burden, God, on tonight, God, lift got any anxiety on tonight god we lift up any fear god on tonight god we bind it 
In the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you, God, for peace. God, we thank you, Lord, because you're the God who resolves, God, God, every situation. So, God, we just thank you, God, for divine favor. God, we lift up Miss Gwen to you, God, in the name of Jesus. God, continue God, to anoint her hands. God, continue God, to anoint her feet, God. God, we pray, Lord, that you give her, God, what to say, Lord, that she's, God, God, ministering, God, to other women, God, who may come into her care, Lord. We pray, God, for her business, God. We pray, God, for her clientele, God, continue God, to touch her body. God, from the inside out, God, bless our health, God, bless our family, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we lift up Miss Linda, God, to you, God, God, we lift up God, Marvise, her grandson, Lord, that you're working things out for him, God, Lord, we thank you, God, for how you're shifting things, God, even right now in the spiritual realm, God, even in this life, Lord, you're doing a new thing, God, on tonight, Lord, you've been birthing, God, a new thing, God, Lord, you're changing his life, you're changing his order, of it's his steps, God, Lord, you're changing, God, his mindset, so God, we thank you, God, for, Lord, making the necessary alterations. God, we thank you, God, for alterations on tonight, Lord, that, Lord, you're changing the way that we think and perceive about certain situations in our lives, God. We, God, pray, Lord, that you cover Mark V's, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We even cover, God, her children, God, Tamika, God, Paisley, God. We cover, God, her grandchildren, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We lift up, God, Madison to you, God. We pray, God, for her mom and nephew, Lord. Give them, God, traveling grace and mercy, Lord, God, to and from their destination, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for being a hedge of protection, God, around their lives, God. We lift up, God, the McCroskey family, God, to you, God. We lift up, God, Mr. Marlon, God, and Miss Christina, God, we lift up Nick, and God, we lift up Brandon, God, Lord, we lift, lift up, God, even Kiki, God, on tonight, and Destiny, God, Lord, this began, God, to cover that family, God, continue, God, to bless, God, them, Lord, order their steps, God, bless their going in, and bless their going out, God, we even pray, God, for Nicole, and Ramona, and for Sharon, God, on tonight, and everyone, God, that tapped into this Zoom prayer call, Lord, Minister Calandra, Minister Justice, Lord, that you began, God, to bless us, God, in the name of Jesus, God, Lord, we thank you, God, for how you're ushering God into our destiny, God, we thank you, Lord, that your word gives us life and gives us peace, God, and we thank you, Lord, that, Lord, by your word, Lord, it's by your word, Lord, that we shall not live by bread alone, but, Lord, by every word that proceeds out of your mouth, so, God, we thank you, God, for utilizing Letha as a vessel on tonight, God, to release, God, what you have to, us to, say, tonight, to say to us tonight, God, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. 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 Bless y'all, people. God, see y'all this Sunday at 1 p.m. on site at Greater Community. God got a word for you. Amen. amen. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.